Hi, I'm Ira Varma from Class 3A. Today, I'm going to make the complete clock. In the previous video, I showed you how to make a second hand. And you can see when it will be completed, it will look like this. So, I will open a new door block. So, I will click on new design so it will open a new design. First, we will take, first we will go in modify and take create new object. First, we will make the 12 ticks. We will write ticks over here. Now, okay. Now we're going to go in shape and take box. We now we can see a box has been made over here, but uh, it, we have to change the width, length, and height. We can change the width to two. Length we can do eight. And height can be same as the width 2. You can see the tick is ready. Now we will go and move. We will go and modify. Then we will take move. And now we are going to. Now we take and move. Now how, how much big we want the cloth. We will write in y axis. I want it to be 50. Okay. It height should be 50. So we are going to write 50 over there. You can see. Now the tick has shifted to 50 unit. Now we are going to take. Rotate around. I have taken. And we will rotate around. Z axis. By. We will take from map. This. And I forgot to put 0, 0, 0, 0 in the pivot. Okay, so we will over here put 30 and we will multiply. Okay, I will tell you what we will put over here. Okay, first we are going to go in control and take count with and put this whole whole code in this okay now we are going to now we're going to do count with i from 1 to 12 because we need 12 ticks 12 ticks okay count with i from 1 to 12 by 1 Okay, we will multiply it by, we will go in data, data, we will see that we have a i, so we are going to put it over there. And now I am going to tell you why we wrote 30 multiplied by i over here. Because we wrote 30 multiplied by i over there. If we divide 360 by 12, it will be divide, so it will be 30. And why we put i because if we put one over there if we put one over there i'm going to show you what happened if we write one over there we put, i put one over there you can see all the ticks are going in one position only if we put i they will move in different position okay they will move into a circle okay now you can now I'm going to repeat it. Now you can see they are moving in different positions, but they are moving in a circle because the clock is of a circle. Okay. And now I'm going to stop. So now we are going to put a, a circle behind it. If you want to put a circle behind it. If you want to put a circle behind it, we are going to go in shapes and take cylinder. We'll add it just over here. Okay. And we will change the radius. 
254. Why we change it to 54? Because you can see the ticks are till 50. Okay. 50. Okay. And we wrote uh, uh, 54 over there because we want it to touch. To touch the tick. Okay. We want it to touch the tick. And the high time, first let us check that how it is turning. We will do it fast. You can see we have to change the height. Okay, we can do the height 2. You can do the height 2. Let us check now. I think we have to do one over here. Okay. Now it's fine. And if we want to hide, if you don't want to see the edges, we can put uh, um, 60. Sides will be 60. Okay. We can do the side 60. So we cannot see any edges. You can see it is a plain circle. Okay. Now we will take Now we will take a tube from here because now we are going to put the boundary of, of the cloth. Okay. So we will change its radius to to 55 we can change the wall thickness to 2 and the height can be um, height we will check it later but the size should be 60 because we don't want to see the edges of the uh, okay we don't need to see the edges okay see we have to change the height we have to change the height because it is too lengthy. It can be 3. Let's see. Yeah, 3 is fine. We can change the color also from here. Let me change it to, to a little bit. This color. Okay, light blue. Okay, now we are going to put the second hand. In my previous video, I showed you how to draw the second hand. Okay, so we will again take the create new object. Then we will rename the variable. Write second hand. And write second hand. Okay, second hand. And now we're going to take, we need a box to make our uh, second hand. Okay. So we can change the width to 4. The height, height can be 4. And the length can be 30. Okay, let us see how it looks. Okay. Now we have to shift it a little bit up. So we are going to do it modify and take move. Okay. And now we are going to change the y axis to 13. Okay. Now let's see what happens. See it has shifted up. Now we are going to take rotate. Because we, we want it to rotate. We will uh, rotate around z axis by y minus 6 i explained it that why we are writing minus 6 over there okay and we're going math and um, we'll put x x z 0 comma 0 comma 0 we can see and we will go in control and put repeat and if we put you can see you can see the clock is ready.
our clock is steady the second hand is moving okay now we are going to put another repeat over there and write 60 so if we write 60 it will uh, rotate till 1 hour thank you